China takes aim at Trump trade threats Chinese state media has at the White House for escalating the prospect of a trade, calling the administration of President Donald Trump selfish and rude and mundane in its capriciousness. The unpredictability of the Trump administration has become mundane or even boring for China, an editorial in the state-run tabloid Global Time Asset on Sunday. It reinforces the difference in images of the two countries, one challenges the foundation of global trade through sudden s, and one that is prepared to defend itself in a trade that it cannot avoid. After months of negotiations, China and the U.S. are on the brink of an all-out trade. On Friday, the U.S. unveiled a list of $50 billion in Chinese goods to target with 25% tariffs, pledging more duties if China retaliated. Within hours China released its own list of retaliatory tariffs to place on $50 billion in U.S. imports. An editorial in the People's Daily on Saturday said the latest trade provocations allowed China to see more clearly the face of the Trump administration, one that is rude, unreasonable, selfish and headstrong. China's official Xinhua news agency added, the wise man builds bridges. The fool builds walls. With economic globalization there are no secluded and isolated islands. China's proposed tariffs on more than 500 categories of U.S. goods, a list more extensive than the one it released in April, appear aimed at hurting Trump's Republican base before the U.S. midterm elections in November. The list includes beef, poultry, pork, dairy products, seafood, tobacco, and soybeans. China is the largest buyer of U.S. soybeans. Beijing said it would also Target $16 billion of U.S. products like coal, crude oil, natural gas, and medical equipment at a later date, the situation could still escalate. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer has said the White House will release a plan by the end of the month on restricting Chinese investment in the U.S. and limiting Chinese purchases of advanced technology from the country. Trump has said he would triple the value of Chinese imports subjected to tariffs to $150 billion. Other levers Beijing has already begun to employ include extra inspections on current U.S. imports into China. The economic damage of the tariffs announced so far won't be too big in the scheme of things. But that could quickly change, said Roland Raja, the director of the International Economy Program at the Lowy Institute in Sydney, Chinese state media still left room for the possibility of negotiations, given the frequent flip-flopping of the Donald Trump administration. It is still too early to conclude that a trade will start, said an English-language editorial in the China Daily.